Hey everyone, um, what we're going to do today is a crappy jig. In the vise we have a 1 16th ounce ball head jig with a size 2 owner 5318 jig hook. Um, this is a pattern I call fire minnow. It's a little different but um, it works really well. So uh, we're going to start here since we have a collar and we didn't, we, I cut the barb off the collar because um, we don't need it. I'm going to take some Loctite super glue brush on and just put a little bit on that collar to help lock our thread down. So now we're going to start with our base, which is going to be different than what you're used to. This is um, 70 denier ultra thread, which is what I like to use for crappy jigs. Doesn't build up much and it's strong enough. So once I get enough on there, I'm going to trim my excess off, as always. And we're going to work our thread all the way down to where the point of the hook is. If you want to know, just let your bobbin hang and I'll work it back up. I'm going to put a little bit heavier of a base on with this 70 denier. work it all the way back. Um, I'll leave uh, links to the material uh, in the description box. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take two pieces of this. It, this is barred neck hackle. Um, the feathers are pretty thin. You could use one piece of regular size, uh, regular hackle. Um, this is the thin, the thin ones on when you buy uh, barred neck hackle. Um, it's not, it's relatively inexpensive and the feathers aren't like dry fly quality, but they work and you'll get some of these thinner ones. When I have the thinner ones, I like utilizing them for this jig because what I do is I'll take two of them and I put them on top of each other, but I have that little separation in there. It really actually helps it in the water, makes it look pretty decent. So I'm going to take the two of them together. And I'm going to lay it down here on uh, right on the barb. And I want it about three quarters of an inch or so beyond the hook bend. I'm going to put a couple wraps in here just to hold it until I get it to right where I want it. And when I'm satisfied, I'll start wrapping up. And you notice I didn't trim the feathers off. The reason I do that is just that's my way of doing it. I'm going to tie it up a little further than what I normally would on a bass jig because of the lighter thread. I want um, more material on there to anchor it. It just makes me feel better, even though uh, it's probably fine if I would trim it off uh, a little bit shorter. So now we have our feather tail tied in. The next step is I'm going to take, this is fire orange craft fur that I took off a little bit. And um, you, you can substitute material with this. You could use, um, they make a fire orange arctic fox. That's what I would use if I had that color. Um, I don't have any more, so I use the fire orange craft fur. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up here that I'm just beyond the hook bend. A couple wraps to hold it. I'll fan it out a little bit. Put a couple more wraps in and I'm going to trim it off. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to take it. If you have any long ones, now's the time to pull them out. I'm going to line it up to what I have. And now I'll trim this off. 
because now I know where I want to go with the, the craft fur. Fan it out a little bit. It don't take much to fan this out. And we're going to wrap it up to the top and back down again. So now we have that little bit of craft fur tied in. Sorry about it. This is a pearl jig, so the light's kind of messing it up. And I try to get it a little bit better for you. So now we have that tied in. Now the next thing is... This is medium-sized cactus chenille. This is pearl cactus chenille. You'll see it looks like there's green sparkles in it. Um, that's what I like about it. It has um, this mylar in it that really shines. So this is going to eliminate the need for any kind of flash. And there is an end on here. He's, you can see I already have that pulled out that I could tie into. Now, before I even start wrapping this, we're going to take some more of our craft fur here. And what I want to do is I'm going to tie it a little bit on each side. And the way I'm going to gauge this is I want this, oh, maybe a quarter inch or so uh, above the head and you take notice the ends are facing up they're facing that way instead of uh, towards the hook which is different almost like um what they call in the fly tie in world um, a hollow tie with bucktail we're doing the same thing with the craft fur only um, it's craft fur so it's not going to react the same way bucktail does but you'll see why we do this in a second And I'm going to cut it off right there at the, the end of the jig collar. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Take our craft fur, line it up with what's already in there. I got to wet my fingers. Because um, the air is dry now, and we got a lot of static. At least I'm built up with static, so the hair is sticking to me. And we're trimming that off. So now I'm all set up. I'm going to just run a little bit more thread up here. And now we're going to start wrapping our chenille. Now with the cactus chenille, after you make a wrap or two, you're going to want to start pushing them little fibers back as you wrap. Doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to keep your wraps tight with this stuff because it is, um, it's kind of sparse. So um, if you don't get your wraps tight, you'll see, um, you'll see the center cord show up. Now, when we get up almost to the head here, what I'm going to do is I'm bringing this chenille over and I'm making a wrap just to secure the chenille. And then... I'm going to bring my craft fur down. I'm going to make a wrap there. Bring it down over on this side. Make a wrap. Hold it down. And then I'm going to wrap over it with the chenille. And 
and one more for good measure. And we'll tie the chenille off. And we'll trim it. Put a few more wraps in there. And we'll whip finish it. One more go around. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Trim our thread off. Now I'm going to take a bodkin and some super glue brush on. Let's take the top off. And I'm going to dip the bodkin in here just to get a little bit of glue on it. And that's all I need. Wipe that off. Put my glue away. And I'll show you what we have here. That is fire minnow crappy jig. Gives them little wings. Um, this is actually really good. Sorry if I'm shaking here. Um, that profile, uh, when you use Arctic Fox or the craft fur, this really waves around. You could f you fish this under a float, and you're it's almost a guarantee you're going to get them. Um, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.